Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the performance of the Super Saiyan God Goku after his Extreme Z Awakening in the Red Zone. So this is Ultimate Red Zone versus Sin Shenron who obviously turns into Omega Shenron. We're going to see how good Goku is. Uh, we do have him on a Beyond Super Saiyan team, uh, which is basically a pure Saiyan's team, uh, at least for me. And yeah, we're going to see how good he is. So he does have his full uh, passive, he's got everything that he needs. Uh, I think right off the bat we'll just start him with a Whis, just to kind of see uh, where he lies in terms of uh, like defense and things like that. Uh, his pairing partner, although they don't give each other key, is pretty good. It's the guards unit, and they share five links, I believe, which is pretty nice. Uh, Goku, obviously, very strong for the first ten turns. For the first ten turns of battle, uh, he has an extra 50% defense, he has a 50% evasion, and he has 50% crit. And then that will drop down to just 30% evasion after the tenth turn. Now he does greatly stack attack and defense for 1 turn on his 12 key and also for 5 turns on his 18 key. So overall he's got a pretty nice kit. Obviously he gains a little bit of attack and defense and key for every single pure sand or hybrid sand enemy on the team, uh, ally on the team I should say, sorry. And overall he looks pretty good. I think his link set's probably his weakest part. Uh, he doesn't share a lot of links with a lot of major units, but he shares decently with god units. So any kind of god Vegeta or god Goku and Vegeta or, you know, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, he should link decently with. I'm not saying he's gonna blow out the bank and be amazing, but he should be pretty decent. So yeah, he looks pretty good right off the bat. Um, I would say one thing about him is it doesn't take him long to get up to speed. Uh, generally it takes him around a turn to get to a really good point. I think after one turn he sits with around 300k defense, which in most situations is pretty good, especially considering he can still stack uh, two more times and he still has that 50% evasion. So Goku really doesn't take long to get set up. I think that's one of his benefits. Like with other units it tends to take you know three maybe four turns to really get going in red zone. Uh, even units like the tech you know tech Goku uh, who have guard who are very very strong they still take you know one or two turns uh, two or three turns I should say to really get going uh, maybe get a couple of stacks especially at lower percentages. Whereas with Goku, he just starts off really strong. Like, as long as you can get his 18 key, uh, that stacking really doesn't take too long to get. Uh, he does really, really well. He does good damage, and he just does a lot. He just brings a massive amount to the table, which, yeah, honestly, for the most part, is pretty good. You can see here uh, how everything kind of functions together. I still think the best build for Goku is the additional build, um, personally speaking. There we go, dodge the super attack. I do think the additional build is the best build for Goku. And the reason why is, you know, to cut a long story short, I do think Goku has uh, a long enough additional turns, like 10 turns, I think is long enough. For you to benefit so much from the additionals, uh, the additional attacks, the additional crits, the additional everythings. And I think it's long enough that it's high value for Goku. So I think those 10 turns is long enough to really benefit from those additionals. If it was his 7 turns, maybe then uh, you could give him, you know, just do like a split. But I think going predominantly additionals and just leaving like a lingering amount of crit on there is fine. I have seen some people uh, kind of go the the dodge route, you know, building a, a additional 30 or 26 percent, whatever it is, of dodge um, to make him essentially an 80 percent dodge character. I mean, if you want to, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to build your units because technically speaking, he does have additionals and crits and all sorts of mechanisms to a system beforehand. 
but I just think it's a waste because you are missing out on a lot of potential damage and a lot of additional stacks of defense which will make him really solid afterwards. So 60k from Strength Shenron, that's obviously not um, too, too great. Uh, but after Super, he won't take anything. You still have his 50% dodge as well, so... Yeah, he handles the first two phases like a champ, uh, which is yeah exactly what you want him to do, of course. We're going to take a look at him in the final phase. Uh, we do, unfortunately, get knocked out here, so we'll just skip to another fight where we did get to the final phase. But yeah, overall... Goku's looking fine so far. Good damage, uh, good additionals, good defense, uh, solid evasions as well. So, yeah, overall pretty good. Evaded the super attack, which is always nice. So, yeah, for me, Goku looks really solid. Now, here you can see um, where he kind of lies. Uh, really, really, really good this turn, by the way. Uh, looking solid, 300k defense. Which is fantastic. Still have the full evasion active, uh, which you're going to see shine. Gets the attack off, and then that's going to push him uh, up to just high enough a bracket that he's, you know, not going to take too much. 129k obviously is a fair chunk of damage. Yeah, I'm not sitting here saying it's not a lot of damage. Uh, but honestly speaking, we were missing a stack, so it's really not too bad. Goku with. Uh, just a single additional attack or a single stack uh, extra there would be sitting with enough defense to tank. So that's really not too bad. Um, Omega Shenron hits very hard. Uh, so Goku being able to tank that is fine. And you know, I think he looks pretty good. Obviously you saw the benefits of the evasion. Uh, you can see the benefits of an all evasion lineup. And he pairs quite well with these guard units. He almost pseudo acts as a tank. Uh, if you can get his stacks and his evasion up, he's a pretty solid unit uh, when it comes to his, his like performance here. So I think for me in general, he does a very very good job, and I'm you know, overall pretty happy with Goku's performance. I think at the end of the day, people you know are, are happy with his EZ. I've seen a lot of positive feedback from it. Uh, I've seen a lot of positive mentions and positive tweets about it and just a good vibe from his video and I think that's well not always the case with units and sometimes it is very much not always warranted when people yeah lamb based units uh, a lot of people don't like this AGL duo and I think they are awesome so that is just up to everyone basically but yeah uh, me personally I think Super Saiyan God Goku is really good. Yeah, I think he's a fantastic unit. Uh, I think he does everything you want him to do. I think he does a fantastic job in giving you uh, utility, variety, good damage, solid defense, great evasion. And yeah, after 10 turns he does drop off a little bit. But as you can see, events don't last that much longer than 10 turns, and he can still resort back to his very solid defensive base to be good. Maybe you'll have to push him off, maybe you'll have to be a floater, but yeah, generally speaking, he doesn't lack. Like, he doesn't, you know, go from being, like, a good unit to being terrible. He, you know, is great. He does a fantastic job, so I personally think he looks fantastic. I think he does an awesome job, and I'm super duper happy with his overall performance. Obviously, you know, could he have been made better, I think you can say about every easy air. But I think one thing that I will say about Goku is he's truly just got a lot of roles. Uh, you can stick him as a main unit, as a floating unit. He's just very, very good because he doesn't need a lot of catering to. He's got key, he's got evasion, he's got everything built in. So yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Till then, bye.